So today we are going to discuss on how to apply for PhD in USA after Masters. As you all know very well that when you finish your Masters, you like to join in PhD for a better career. Now I would like to discuss what are the ways that you can approach to study PhD in USA, especially if you are from the other country other than USA. So the first of all, when you are in your country, you must concentrate on certain things before applying to USA. The first thing is that you need to search for a university. Which university do you like to join? Probably you cannot join in Cambridge or Oxford or you cannot join, uh, of course, let us talk USA, Harvard. You can join there if you are not highly intellectual person. Or highly intellectual guy so better you need to choose the right option which university can you do PhD this is the first step uh, before applying for PhD in USA so you must first decide which university you can do it you you must choose a type of university that's very easy to get admission and do not choose very highly intellectual and famous universities which you are not really eligible. So if you are highly intellectual and exceptional, then you can move about, I have no problem doing that. So once you decide the university that you want to go with in USA, the second part is that you have to make sure that to drop one email by entering into their website and finding out the admission department and just drop an email about your interest to do PhD and whom to contact, what is the procedure and all the other things and just wait for an email and do not forget to check your email day by day. Sometimes it happens so that you may forget to check email then it will be a more delay. So once you get a reply from that university to contact such and such person to apply for PhD and go ahead and drop one more email, the second email to the ex to exact person and uh, he'll be the one who will be guiding you. So here the way you write your email must be very very good and you it must be very impressive. You take a little bit time and write very good email so that they may really respond to you what you have to go, what you have to do, or how to move ahead and what are the things you need to do there. And this is the second step, dropping an email and getting the response. And the third important step is to prepare for an interview. Now, you know, whenever you are abroad other than USA, usually the university people, they conduct telephonic rounds. Uh, it is called te to know what kind of interest you have. So they may ask you that you may receive some kind of phone call in one or two days and then you can uh, attend that interview and that's where again your success lies, the third part of the application process and wait for their phone call and don't forget to attend their phone call in whichever agency you are into. So once you get the phone call after one or two days and you will just need to attend the phone call and just tell them what you are and how interested are you just to speak very good English and tell them that all transcripts are available in your educational background and what are all the things really uh, making you to apply for that particular university and not any other university or to USA or any not any other country so so many things will be asked to you and if they are satisfied they will ask you to start the application process and in this application process they'll be sending you one application form to fill and you need to fill the application form and fill it and also you need to simultaneously drop an email to the supervisors available uh, in the university and you will get their email contact IDs from the website itself and gather their IDs and just mail them uh, with a type of research proposal. Research proposal is nothing but in which subject you want to pursue your PhD and what is the area of interest and if that supervisor is able to guide you in that particular topic or interest he will be responding to you positively. If not you need to go to other university because all topics are not dealt in some universities. So in such a case, mostly you will be 
you will be accepted uh, by one supervisor who can guide you over there unless it is a very reputable university sometimes you may not get or very very low level university you may not get supervisors but otherwise it is, if it is a normal university you can get that so you are dropping an <coughs> email to your super to the supervisor to accept you as a phd scholar and if supervisor gives you positive signal that's it your half of the application process is done so and you submit a visual formal application and <coughs> it will be done and that's it that's it the rest of the things university will look after and make sure all this process only happens when you have enough money with you some 50 to 70 thousand us dollars because to study phd you need to pay a lot of money so this is another big story without money you will never be able to do phd in usa though there are scholarships available but at least you need fifty thousand to seventy thousand in hand to study those three years of course you, you can even run up with some part-time job after going there that's all again depending upon luck and that's we can't discuss here right now so make sure you have enough money and don't expect some kind of scholarships that can save you your total tuition fee that will never happen in USA. So this is the process how to apply in USA. Before applying to USA, have, a, uh, have some money with you and the money is very, very important to you. And start uh, in a nutshell, this is what you need to do. Have some money, uh, choose one university, go to their website, drop an email to the administration department and follow their guidelines drop research proposal to one of the supervisors over there and get one supervisor's positive signal and start the application process and later on university will give you a conditional offer letter offer admission and with that you can apply for visa and later on you'll be getting visa and you can jump off so that's it the way you can uh, approach um, the method of applying for phd in usa thank you if you want more in depth um points how to apply for phd in usa you can always read my article on my website phdstudytips.com thank you